today on Gunmark TV we've got a very interesting uh, shotgun. It's uh, new from Mossberg. It's the uh, JM Pro uh, from their 940 series. It's the camo version. It's primarily meant as a competition gun, but it's equally good for us vermin controllers or gamekeepers who want a, a good extended magazine or seven shot facility. These will be FAC seven shot uh, in this country. All the test gun we've got today is one of their uh, free shots they use for shows. Um, as you can see, it's a lovely semi-automatic gas operated system. It's 44.75 inches overall length and it only weighs uh, seven pounds, 12 ounces. They all come with a 24 inch barrel uh, and you have a multi-choke system on the end and these are Briley chokes and they're extended and you get three chokes uh, from uh, cylinder, improved cylinder and modified, um, which is of course because you, you'll be using primarily um, you want an open choke because you'd be using buckshot, maybe slug or triple A, something like that. Um, <clears throat> you have a nice uh, large uh, 10 mil rib here, ventilated to let cooling and a single day glow uh, high vis uh, sight at the front. Although today I actually have fitted a Picatinny rail and a very, very good uh, aim point H2 uh, red dot sight because we'll be shooting some slugs and some uh, buckshot later on, which we'll show you in, in the video. It's a very nice, tough um, polymer stock uh, and I quite like it actually it's pretty ambidextrous it's got a pretty basic camo uh, system that's all you want on it you don't really want anything fancy on there it's got a nice rake in fact actually for my hands it's actually very nice you actually reach the uh, trigger finger onto the uh, trigger very nicely very squidgy um, recoil pouches uh, you'll see in the test you need that on those slugs because they're a little bit stout uh, length of pull is adjustable from 13 to 14.25 uh, inches because you can put spaces here, which is great for competition or shooting at uh, very peculiar angles. Um, so let's have a quick look at the action itself. It's an aluminium action uh, for lightness. It's matte black anodized. On this model, you have extended uh, controls for the loading here. Uh, so you can easily uh, grasp it in any situation and it's nicely faceted as well. So you do actually get a good bit of grip. There's a, as you can see, last round fired, bolt stays open and the extended circular bolt release. What they also have as well, they've actually made the loading gate, it's beveled on both sides. It does make loading very, very quick and easy. You can use a quad load loading system if you want to, and to get your rounds in there very, very quickly. And we had no issues whatsoever during the, uh, the test uh, shooting this. It was very, very good. In fact, the whole system is designed to be re uh, reliable for an extended number of rounds. Normally after 500 rounds on the gas auto, you really need to clean it. These are made um, specifically so you can shoot 1500 rounds in competition or you know, if you've got a really big uh, pigeon problem. Um, also to make it slicker inside as well, it's a non-taking bolt, it's just a single uh, claw extractor, but everything is nickel boron coated. So it really does feel slick. It's probably honestly, it's um, you know, quite un, Mossberg like actually, and <laughs> that's not being rude. It's very, very slick. And again, you know, we had no issues pop up. I think we had one hang up on a bit of a light load. Um, other than that, 100% uh, um, flawless uh, uh, operation. Right, so to remove the seven shot magazine, you've got to be a little bit careful because there's a very long spring, as you can imagine. You don't want that flying off everywhere. Here we go, wait. And then you simply, simply slide the fore end off. And there you can see a very, very nice, neat gas operated system, which is vented, twin ports from the bore, operated on the piston. And here you have a gold anodized vented spacer bar, which actually, you can see when it's operated here, the piston will come forward. It will hit this spacer bar here and move it and then operate the bolt slide operation system. And this is um, free floating. It's gold anodized and it's vented. And this is what uh, keeps the reliability because as you know, on a gas operated system, when you're shooting quite a lot of uh, rounds at one time, you get a lot of gunk and buildup. This uh, negates that fact. And it's a very nice feature. And one of those really good uh, points of the, uh, the 940JM uh, Pro series. Uh, but say overall, it's a fantastic gun. Uh, and so we've taken it out, we're shooting slugs, um, AAA, uh, we'll do some BB and we'll uh, do some uh, uh, SG and, and buckshot as well. Well, we've got a selection of ammunition today for test for the uh, JM Pro 940, uh, the camo stock version. I'm going to shoot uh, a few birds uh, shots 
because uh, I know pigeon shooters like having these. This is the, the three shot version I got on test. It's just a show gun. Uh, they do do a seven shot uh, FAC, which is what will come into this country. Uh, then I'll shoot some buckshot and then we'll shoot some Alpha Max, uh, smaller BBs, and then we'll go on to the, uh, the rifle slug as well. And uh, we'll see how the reliability, the patterns and the groupings of different ranges on the slug, hopefully. First up, we're going to do the Game Bore Pigeon Extreme. It's a really nice hard hitting round. It's got 34 grams of number five shot. So we'll uh, see how that shoots in the uh, 940. Very easy to load. See those beveled edges there? Large loading port, so you can have a quad load system. Very, very nice. The extended uh, controls also make it very easy. And the, uh, this lovely aim point sight is just fantastic. All right, here we go. Nice. I'd say, very nice to shoot. I mean, that's 34 grams. Yeah, I mean, there's very little on here, movement backwards. So I think that's very, very nicely set up uh, semi-auto. As you can see and expect, you know, with the cylinder choke with the Pigeon Extreme, the number five shot gave us 121 uh, hits at 30 yards, and it's quite a nice even pattern. This is an interesting buckshot. This is Gecko. It's the um, coated competition buckshot. There's nine buck in there, uh, the eight mil uh, diameter, in a 65 mil uh, casing. It's see-through as you can see and it's an ounce load. So I'll be very interested to see how these shoot. Uh, this is at 30 yards, by the way. And hardly any recoil on that at all, that's lovely. Well, those uh, Gecko competition buckshot really shot nicely, and we had all nine pellets uh, at 30 yards on the board, and that's with the cylinder choke. Obviously, that will tighten up if you put a half choke in there, because those Briley chokes are very nice in this uh, JM Pro. Okay, now, now let's try some BB shot. These are the uh, Ely Alpha Max, Alpha Max Plus, and that is 36 grams of BB. So these are normally quite a nice dense pattern. They're good for foxes, so we'll have a look. And this is the half choke at 30 yards. Oh yeah, that's stout, really good ejection on that. Um, yeah, that's, um, that's gonna put in crimp in someone's day. Yeah, so switching to the half choke uh, with the Ely Alpha Max Plus, uh, tighten the pattern up quite nicely and it's uh, 36 grams of BB shot. And uh, again, a slightly high bias, that's because I sighted the, um, the red dot scope in that way. Uh, and it's a nice fox load, this one. Right, we've now moved on to the, uh, the slug shooting. And I've got the Gecko competition, it's the red coated, uh, Slug, it's a 28 gram or one ounce load. And we'll see how they shoot. So I've, uh, using the aim point uh, sight, which is very nice, red dot, very visible. Uh, I like the intensity settings of this out in the field. So let's have a go. Oh, that's got a crack to it. Nice. Right, I'll do another one. That's the old uh, Gecko. It's about two inch group at 30 yards. Here's a nice load. This is the Gecko Coated Competition Slug. This is an ounce or 28 gram loading and it's optimized specifically for semi-automatic shotguns. It worked very, very well in the GM Pro and gave us, you know, quite respectable groups really. Right, we've got the Winchester one ounce Foster type slug. We'll try those at 30 yards again as well. Uh, like I said, it's very easy operating. It's shooting a little high, so let's go. Oh yeah, that's got a bit of a kick to it. Oh, oh that's a nice group. It's two for the same hole and uh, one off, but that does kick a bit. Yeah, I really like these Winchester Foster type slugs. They're old fashioned, but they really shoot well. And uh, yes, we sighted in, it's still shooting a bit high, but see the first shot going in there at 30 yards, followed by second, very, very close. And the third, they are actually touching the first shot. Brilliant group from those Winchesters, thoroughly recommended. Uh, another good old stalwart uh, on the slug is the Rottweil Brennica, and that's a one ounce and one eighth um, weight, and a good old slug, they're normally accurate. Uh, we're gonna see how this shoots. I have to say that aim point, uh, H2 uh, sight is very, very good, and uh, it's got two MOA uh, dot on it, and this uh, JM Pro, is functioning very well and shooting very nicely, but let's go. Oh, slight trigger. One, 
two, three. Yeah, about two and a half inch group, that's about what I expect for that. Again, another slug load, and these are Rottweil Brenneker, it's an old fashioned uh, slug round, and they work very well, they're a little bit finickety. Uh, and it's an ounce and one eighth load. And there's a first shot going a little bit high, second off, about two inches. So we've got about three and a half inch group. I mean, I've noticed with, with the Brenneker, if you actually tighten up the choke, maybe put a, a quarter or perhaps a half in there, it actually works quite well. So, you know, for next time maybe. Thank you.